Hello everybody and welcome to the Kadinsky Music Art Lesson 1. So you're going to go to your class's music page, you're going to click on the Kandinsky link on the left hand side of the page. This is what you should see. In the Kadinsky program you can make lines that make notes, triangles that make a drum sound, circles for singing notes, and squares also make singing notes. Each symbol plays a different type of note. And using these buttons down by the pause symbol, you can change the sound of the instruments being played. How the screen works is in a scale. You have different notes similar to the soflage. They go from low to high, going from the left hand corner to the right hand corner, and high to low, going from the left hand corner to the right hand corner. If I organize the lines from bottom to top, you'll see the kind of areas where you have the different low, medium, and high. Again, you can switch the colors and change the sound. triangles make a drum sound. You have a bass drum at the bottom, a snare drum, and just above the bass drum a hi-hat and a cymbal. And that kind of represents the low, medium, and high with the drums. And again you can change the color and it'll change the sound of the drum. This is a complex pattern. This is the way it'll play. So when you arrange the, your shapes into a repeating pattern, you will find that you will end up playing a musical pattern and it'll go and keep repeating in a loop. So you can go ahead and try that on your own device. Here again is that complex pattern. I've used three lines, one in the high, one in the medium, and one in the low, and then I've made, I've made a repeating pattern We're using circles and triangles. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Now at the end of this lesson, you're going to take a look at the photos of the music art that I've created as examples. I want you to copy those ones on your device so you can learn how the program works. It's really great to experiment using all the shapes in all the different low, medium, and high ranges on the Kandinsky program. Alright, see you again in our next lesson using the Kandinsky Music Lab by Google.